And hello everyone! We have another collection of fresh news from the world of gymnastics. Today we have the most pressing questions, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel so as not to miss news from the world of gymnastics. Today in the video we will discuss the doping scandal of VADA and Reseda, what details have appeared about the countries that propose reforming VADA, about the gymnast who returns after doping disqualification, and now that I interviewed you and you're ready to watch, we can start. This year, the 8th competition of free was held from SV Strasse and with the support of Swarovski. This is an international design competition in which several nominations are presented, including what is interesting for us, leotards for gymnasts. In general, the competition includes 14 nominations and at least three of them are directly related to rhythmic gymnastics. One of the nominations is called the choice of Dina and Irina Virine. In addition to the world champions, the jury is no less famous creators of leotards for gymnasts of the national team. Lana, the founder of the workshop Lana and Tatiana, who is a founder also of Art Blesk. The main condition for participation in the competition is the presence in the works of masters of crystals from bindings. Also, in addition to evaluating works and a bunch of cool prizes, designers get the opportunity to pump their skills and attend master classes and other useful events. Well, for you and me, it is interesting to see what kind of leotards are invented for gymnasts and what is relevant now. Write in the comments if you would like to visit a simple similar competition and see what works are soon for such events. It seems to me that this is somewhat reminiscent of our videos with a selection of the best suits. Only here the work is not sent but exhibited at competitions, where we conduct the selections ourselves. So we can say we have our own suit competition. Yulia Yevchik, gymnast of Belarus, prize winner of the European Championship among juniors and prize winner of the 2019 Universiade, published a video on her TikTok where she says that next year she will be forced to lift sports. Now Julia actively conducts TikTok and shoots various videos, some of them are simply incredible. There is information about the World Cup which is to be held in 2021, so it is planned to be held in the Japanese city of Kitakyushu in conjunction with the World Artistic Gymnastics Championships. Interesting fact that the city in which both World Championships are planned to be held is the hometown of the President of Gymnastics Federation Marinari Watanabe. There are no exact dates for the championship yet, but this event should become significant for the world of rhythmic gymnastics, since this is the third time that the world championship will be held in Japan. Also, the organizing committee of the Tokyo Olympic Games said that test tournaments before the Olympics will begin next year. In early November, an international artistic gymnastics tournament was already held in the presence of spectators, so the likelihood of the Olympics being held is very high. But the question with the Russian athletes is still hanging. The the decision of the sports arbitration has not yet been published, but a new conflict is breathing. Already 14 countries have submitted an application calling for reforming of VADA. There was this organization that made the decision to deprive Russia of the right to participate in international sports events for four years. There are no specifics yet, but the situation is very interesting. We will follow how events in this area will develop. In any case, we are promised any sports arbitration decision on Russian athletes by the end of the year. Yekaterina Galkina, meanwhile, needed another operation. Katya in year 2020 had coronavirus and two operations. Pleases that Katya perceived this with a smile and even wrote a funny post on her Instagram with an appeal to the doctor, in the hope that she will not come to him again except for a cup of tea. Let's hope that Katya will recover and will be able to fight for a place in the team at the games. While it is still difficult to discuss this, since her teammates are now in a very good shape, and it's rather difficult to say in what state is Katya after the operations. Irina Dirugina said that the European Championship will definitely take place, and as originally planned on the territory of the sports palace. The 
Ministry of Youth and Sports of Ukraine confirmed all the early agreements. The competition will be held without spectators and in compliance with all epidemiological standards. All countries that are not afraid and will be able to come will be met in a proper way. True, there are not many countries that have not refused to participate. The Bulgarian Federation has officially announced that the seniors of the group will not come to the championship due to the positive tests for COVID. Gymnasts in the individual program are still training, but the final decision on the team will be made in the coming days. Brianna Kalin and Katrin Tasiva are preparing to compete in individual competitions. Of the group teams, only seven teams are planning to come today, when 17 were originally announced. Among the individual gymnasts from 20 countries have not yet refused to participate, but from the advantages of a small number of athletes will be able to meet new gymnasts and talk in more details about those who will lead. I have already talked about the photo session for the European Championship, which was held for the gymnasts of the Ukrainian national team. And now there are more photos and more information. The best gymnasts of Ukraine took part in the photo session. Vlada Nikolchenko, Krisina Pogranichna, Viktoria Naprienka, Eva Milishchuk, Nikola Krasyuk, and Milania Tur. According to the idea, the girls are presented in the images of butterflies, which are persistently moving towards their goal. The photo should really turn out to be very bright and beautiful. Write in the comments how you generally feel about such a photo shoot, and whether you like looking at such photos or do you prefer the ones from the competitions. And in Russia, reforms are being carried out on the status of a coach, though the government approved a bill on granting trainers the status of a teacher. So according to the bill, all coaches who work with children in sports schools and centers will be considered teachers with all rights, responsibilities, and most importantly, social guarantees. At the moment, this is only a draft law, and it must pass the approval of the state Duma. But I think there are no particular obstacles here. Especially if you remember that the head coach of Russia, Irina Rvinovsmanova, discussed this issue at a video conference with Vladimir Putin. Write in the comments whether you think this is a useful thing or on the contrary, an extra responsibility on the coaches and just not nitpicking about the status. It seems to me that there are a lot of pros and cons to such a solution. If we know the advantages which Irina Alexandrova speaks about, then most likely this will not tell us about the uh, disadvantages. But I'm sure that someone will suffer from this. And finally, very interesting and intriguing news. Rhythmic gymnastics world champion and group exercises Alexandra Semyonova returns to the sport after a two-year suspension for anti-doping rule violations. The athlete's disqualification period has already ended. She was suspended for two years after furosemide was found in her sample. Alina Kabaeva and Irina Chashna were also caught on this drug, who were also suspended for two years. For those who do not yet know, furosemide meat itself is not a doping, but a diuretic, with which athletes can get rid of traces of real doping. Well, most often this drug is used for weight loss, but it still belongs to the prohibited drugs by the world of anti-doping agency. In a recent interview, Alexandra said that she plans to resume her career and is now preparing to compete in her first competitions after the break. This will take place, by the way, on November 20th. The annual tournament will be held in Veliki Novgorod, where Sasha is preparing. The most unpleasant thing in this situation is that Sasha contested the decision to disqualify and provided a document that proved that furosemide was part of the approved drug for the treatment of blood pressure. But the committee found this evidence to be insufficient. Let's see how Sasha will be able to recover and show herself at the next start. And will she be able to get into the Olympic team, given that over the past two years a huge number of young, talented gymnasts have grown up. Where are for her place. Write in the comments what do you think about this issue. Will it be possible for Sasha to return or she will be crushed by fresh and healthy girls? Well, that's it for me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you really soon in the next video. Remember that I love you all and for now, goodbye. The video was translated and dubbed by Alexandra Sinica.